Walk into meadow wood, walk into a living room. Uh, we can see our flooring is uh, heavily stained. Walls are painted white. Walls appear to be in good shape. Outlets are three prong. It does have to do electrical panel. Sorry, I'm fighting off the sneeze. All the fixtures are pretty dated looking. House looks fairly untouched over the years here. Uh, flooring in the kitchen is a linoleum. The floor looks fairly level. I mean, I feel maybe it's a little higher on this side of the kitchen than it is against the wall. But I, I don't know if that's just the countertop playing with me or what that is. Original wood cabinets. We see they've done a little extension here and caulked and put a piece of wood and painted for the dishwasher. So some countertops are likely in order. Appliances appear to be in working order, uh, just dated. Same thing with the light fixture here. We go into our converted space here where it's a garage converted living space. They put carpet down, finished the wall. So we've got drywall on three sides. Original brick on one side. There's one outlet for this whole room. So I doubt that it was permitted. It's listed as being permitted and dates wouldn't go back this far anyway. Uh, anything beyond seven years, you can't pull permits for and come up the county. So you'd have to do some surface mount electrical or something if you want to turn this space into more of a living space. Otherwise, it's likely just a card room or storage room. Not a lot of value out here for this space. Our laundry space, we can see where it's been added on. It was likely somewhere else in the house previous. Uh, we can see the add-on plumbing, electrical, and this ductwork, if that's what you want to call it, it's added on. House does not show as well as I expected it to in the pictures. You know, we go through the rest of the house. It's in good condition, generally speaking, but it just, everything's got to be touched here. Uh, I see pecs coming up through the floor. There's some of the plumbing that was replaced a couple years back. Our one full bathroom. I mean, it looks original to build date, other than this linoleum. Uh, this tub is not original, it's a fiberglass tub, it looks like. The surround is not in good condition. Doors are okay. Just a lot of caulk. It looks like they used all of it. Um, toilet, small round bowl toilet, no vanity, just a hanging sink. Go into bedroom one. Bedrooms are on the smaller side. Each of the bedrooms do have a closet. There is ceiling heat that is supposedly operational. Your bedroom two. This bedroom's also on the back side of the house. Ceilings look to be in good shape. Go to bedroom three, which is the primary bedroom. It's similar size as, as bedroom two, maybe a little larger. It's got the same size closet. Oh, I guess it is a walk-in double stacker. Um, I don't know how useful that is with that layout, but it's there. You have a half bath, a piece of plastic on the wall under the sink. So I'm not sure what's really going on with that. Or a light fixture. Sweet towel bar. You can see some of the trim work here actually wasn't painted. And if we pull up these carpets, I'm willing to bet you, just from the sound of the floor, that we have hardwoods in this house. Absolutely do. I didn't catch that. Yep. Hardwoods are probably throughout this whole house other than the kitchen. That's pretty typical for this type of floor plan. We'll check on the other side of the living room here, but I'm pretty confident that we've got hardwoods. Yep, hardwoods are there too. Okay. So you might catch a break there, be able to refinish some hardwoods throughout the house. House probably needs insulation under it. Mention that electrical panel. That, that would be an original electrical panel. I thought it was a newer one. So it looks like they ran grounded outlets when they installed the electrical for this house, which is good. All right. In the video.